You're right everyone, it's Adria from Romany Custom Catapults. So I've got a couple of builds to show you here. I thought I'd do uh, one video for two rather than do two separate videos. So it might take a little bit longer. But they're two nice frames so they'll happily share the limelight together. Uh, let's go from left to right. So firstly, the one I've got to show you is the heart of the Glacier Raptor. We'll start on the back. So we've got natural G10 jade, three mil. Now we've got two layers of the three mil and we've got one layer of natural two mil. But obviously it's taken a much darker shade because it is sandwiched in between two pieces of half a mil aluminium. Now the face on the bottom is a material that I've used before, it's the last of it in this colour. It is turquoise VDI, it glows a lovely turquoise green. Shards of uh, aluminium in there and glow powders. As you can see all the pins are aluminium. Nice and shiny. The top part of the material is silver texelium, which goes really nice in the sunlight. It's quite a fine texelium to the stuff I've used in the past. And the spacer is basically the, the core, that part there. Two pieces of half a mil alley and one piece of two mil natural. Really fresh looking build, really pleasant colours on the eye. Both these builds that I'm showing you here have got double aluminium liners which makes them harder to build a lot more caution needs to be shown one little thing that really got to me on this and I don't really need to tell you all because <coughs> it's irritated me but I am going to say I had to cut that rivet, uh, the bolt there, sorry, the bolt cup off a little bit because it was overhanging just a slight amount and I was caught out. Uh, I'd obviously done a little bit too much shaping there, but the, the bolt cups that I'm using to shape a frame, I've used them that much. I've kind of made them a bit smaller. All of them, they've took the turns to be in every position and they're just slightly smaller. And I never had the issue with the, the used bolt cup that I was using, but... I put the new one on and it was overhanging. When I say overhanging, it's literally half a mil. And it doesn't affect the way it holds or shoots because it's quite high up. But because your finger tends to slide down from it, you see. But I just cut that one there just a little bit. Took a bit off of it, as you can see on there. I'll show you close up might as well. There's no secrets here. But I've supplied another one with it as well. And also you can buy smaller ones, you can drop these down to like a flat one. Uh, the only difference being is instead of using a 2.5mm Allen, you use a 2mm Allen. Which you probably won't be able to get as much pressure on the slightly shallower bolts as well. But you could get around that. It's not the end of the world. Really, really happy with it. Like I say, the heart of the glacier was a fitting name for it. You can look up glaciers and whatnot and glacier caves and you'll get all of these colours all glow stuff as well so yeah really really happy with it happy with the bead a really really nice solid build I'm over the moon with that really pretty now this next one isn't so pretty but it's classy uh, how could I describe this one it reminds me, all the black and gold reminds me of Versace in the late 80s. Then a lot of white and gold and a lot of black and gold. It wasn't to everyone's uh, liking. It could be a bit crude and crash, but I like it. And I like this build. We'll start off with the back. We've got carbon fibre. Two layers of 3mm. And we've got one layer of 2mm black G10 in the centre. This camera focuses so much better indoors. We've got two layers of half a mil brass. Brass hollow pins countersunk. Uh, brass lined carbon lanyard pin countersunk. Now the face is made up of 11 separate pieces. Now 
this material is something I've wanted to work with for a while. I like it so much, um, well, I've ordered some for myself in a different colour. It's Gold Onyx Gemstone. I believe I'm the first to use it on a catapult. As far as I'm concerned, Dan, I've not seen anyone else use it. The finish on it, you can get a spectacular. It generally has a marble-like feel. It's like marble. It, well, it's stone, it's gemstone. It's 70% mineral, this material, so it's quite compressed. I'm not sure how you get the gold lines for it, but it looks phenomenal. I was really excited to finish this frame up. The trouble is with it, it came... You, you don't... It's expensive. I say it's expensive, you don't get a lot for your money. As a builder, you rely on offcuts to work on other frames to make money up. Um, this here gave no offcuts. Uh, I've used every last bit of it. I didn't even have enough offcut to go on the, the bead, to be honest with you. So I've used all of it. So that makes it expensive just for this build. I also ordered Damascus carbon fibre for here. It's like a marbled carbon fibre, just to try and make it match this material better. So, really, the way I've... There was various ways I could have done the split, but I felt this was the best way. And it, it looks great. Damascus carbon in here. You can feel a slight bit for the for the brass, but very nothing. Another builder wouldn't even take notice of it. But once I'd finished with the 180, it was completely smooth and flush. But then hand sanding, a little bit of pressure is obviously going to make the softer parts dimp in a bit. But I am extremely happy. I'm extremely happy with both of these builds. Uh, but the other build I've just shown you, Heart of the Glacier build, I've worked with those materials before. This I haven't. So as you can imagine, I was excited to do so. Look at the shine on it. Just looks phenomenal from every angle. The weight in it's beautiful. This is actually going to a to a fella in California. He already has one build from me, a high end build, and uh, he wanted to go a little bit more high end. Uh, it reflects in the price of this material. It's an expensive catapult, very expensive. But yeah, good to be sending them to California. I see a lot of sunlight. He's actually got a black and gold car as well, so uh, it'll go well with that. Really, really nice finish. Like I say, two builds I'm extremely proud of. Very different in their own right, but very beautiful builds. Heart of the Glacier Raptor and black and gold. Cheers all and thanks for watching.